Good afternoon. I'm Nicole Aiello Sapio, Executive Vice President for the Eastern States Region of the American Heart Association. Welcome to our 2022 Get With the Guidelines Stroke Recognition event. It is my honor and privilege to acknowledge the outstanding work of the chair of the American Heart Association's Stroke Systems of Care Advisory Group, Dr. Stephen Massey. He serves as the Associate Director for the Vascular Neurology Fellowship at the University of Pennsylvania and also is a Professor of Neurology at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. Thank you, Dr. Massey, for your leadership and guidance as our chair this past year. Even though we're not celebrating in person together, I'm truly grateful to recognize the progress in stroke care we continue to make in our region, which impacts the states from Virginia to Maine, including the District of Columbia. It's an honor to recognize the life-saving work done by the many health professionals joining us today. Your participation in the American Heart Association's quality programs and your commitment to quality stroke care saves lives and improves outcomes for stroke patients everywhere. Our CEO of the American Heart Association, Nancy Brown, mentioned earlier the extraordinary impact your work has had in patient care over the last 22 years since Get With the Guidelines began. Today, we gather to celebrate you and your work. The impact you are having in the Eastern States region is extraordinary. We have 538 hospitals in our footprint that are Get With the Guideline Stroke hospitals. And at those hospitals, Get With the Guideline Stroke covered nearly 104,000 stroke patient discharges. That means 92% of all stroke discharges are covered by Get With the Guidelines stroke in our region. The quality of care we bring to our region is truly remarkable, thanks to you. Congratulations to all 538 Get With the Guidelines stroke hospitals in the Eastern States region. Collectively, you have achieved more than 1,100 stroke awards. These awards are based on the 2020-2021 data and represent your incredible commitment to guideline-directed care for every eligible stroke patient, ultimately saving lives and improving patient outcomes. I am so incredibly grateful again for your continued commitment to stroke patient care and get with the guidelines. Working with your systems, we are leveraging our voices together and platforms to promote messaging that hospitals are the safest place to be in a medical emergency. We continue together to remind our communities to call 911 at the first sign of a stroke. So on behalf of the American Heart Association, thank you for your resounding commitment to the communities you serve and the patients that you treat. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thanks, Nicole. Uh, I share your pride in the tremendous results from the Eastern States region this year. Not allowed to say this during the national uh, national program, but you know, obviously, the Eastern States is the best. Uh, we had 1,100 awards this year, which is an incredible achievement. And again, of course, as you know, there's the rolling list of award winners on your screen. And please give a shout out in the chat box and use the applause button when you see your hospital's photo featured. As we mentioned in the national segment, I, we recognize that you are probably at work and maybe taking a break and you need to get back to saving lives. And obviously some people can't make it uh, at this time. So we have a recording uh, that we'll be able to share a link and please share with anybody you think might want to view it later. Uh, but it's an honor for me to be here recognizing the work that all the healthcare professionals are doing in Get With the Guidelines. Uh, as a physician and a clinical researcher that has worked with the Get With the Guidelines data, I know firsthand how your participation in the AHA programs and the commitment to quality stroke care, that saves lives. It improves outcomes for stroke patients throughout the country and certainly in our region. And I want to highlight a point that Nicole made. 92% of stroke patients discharged from Eastern States hospitals are covered and captured by Get With the Guidelines. That's an incredible number, absolutely incredible that we are capturing all of those strokes within the Eastern States. Uh, and it really says something about your, your commitment. Uh, and it's terrific. 
So these awards today, they represent your commitment to the guideline-directed care that every eligible stroke patient should receive and does receive, and it ultimately saves lives and improves outcomes. This year, we were thrilled to be able to get together with some of you at the International Stroke Conference in New Orleans in February. I got to go, I had a wonderful trip, and it was really good to be back together uh, with, with my colleagues and friends and uh, all the people who care about stroke. Uh, there were hundreds of attendees from around the world, and they gathered and we heard about the progress and the impact that we're making in stroke care with advancements in endovascular interventions and research on the impacts of COVID-19 on stroke risk and outcomes. Uh, we were able to honor 12 leading stroke scientists for their exceptional achievements in stroke research at this meeting. And of course, we learned about work that still is yet to be done. Uh, structural racism and social determinants of health impact risk factors and outcomes for stroke patients and health inequities that we must address and issues that are going to impact quality of life for survivors and caregivers going forwards. So hopefully we will be able to hear more about this together in Dallas at the International Stroke Conference next year. Through your connection to the American Heart Association to get with the guidelines, your stroke teams are contributing to the knowledge and enhancement of stroke care, just like we heard about at the Stroke Conference. Overall, at this point, we've accumulated 600 national research publications from Get With The Guidelines programs. And as I mentioned in the national program, that includes over two dozen in the past year from the stroke program alone. And these are very important contributions to the literature and they're shaping the way we take care of stroke patients. So on behalf of the AHA, I thank you for your commitment to the communities you serve and the patients you treat. And it is now my great pleasure to introduce someone who brings the importance and impact of these guidelines to life. In the summer of 2011, Denise McGraw had no, no idea that her life was about to change because that, at that time she had a stroke. Uh, thanks to the quick action and treatment at a hospital that was awarded the Get With The Guidelines Stroke Gold Plus Award, Denise did make a full recovery. And she was able to share her story with the American Heart Association two years later. And since then, her passion for the AHA's mission inspired her to become an AHA development director in Utica, New York. So let's hear Denise tell her story. businesswoman and a stroke survivor. My life was really crazy. I was working in corporate America and I was working 50 to 60 hours a week and um, taking care of my parents that were ill. So there was a lot of stress, but enjoying life with two boys in three seasons of sports and really enjoying spending the time with them. I have been exposed to cardiovascular disease my whole life. My mother had cardiovascular disease and from her early 20s with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and many, many health issues. And she actually stopped smoking at age 25. And had she not done that, I don't think she would have really lived much longer than she did at 66 when she passed. I have always taken care of myself and my health because of my mom um, and her health issues and really had had no warning signs, did a yearly physical, worked out, um, but never had any of the triggers. I had earned a trip through my company and was heading to Atlantis with my family and my sister, and we were having a wonderful time. I was there uh, for 10 days, but midway through um, the vacation, I actually started experiencing some neck pain, some headache, but I was attributing it to maybe not drinking enough water, um, just being a little bit dehydrated. I had also done uh, some jet skiing and some water slides, so thought that possibly I jarred something in my neck. So I really did have some warning signs, but not really understanding that that's what it was because I do, um, and I think many women do, push their uh, their symptoms aside thinking that it's it's something more minor and then I got up on Tuesday morning after coming back on Sunday and all of a sudden I just felt like the room was just spinning like the most horrific headache and dizziness that I could possibly experience so I thought I'm gonna go lay back down again for a minute and see if it would subside and unfortunately it didn't I sat up on the side of the bed and I just realized that it was something more. And I called my husband in and I asked him to call 911. I knew what I was experiencing was not anything um, that was normal. And I was really scared. I was really scared. I didn't know if this was going to be the last, last day. I think he was so scared himself because I'm the rock. And 
and he didn't want to call the ambulance. But I'm glad he did because that's the most important thing to do in a situation like this. And uh, we got to the hospital and I was in the ER and they started um, testing me and um, my headache was still just again throbbing. That wasn't subsiding. I was very um, dizzy and nauseated and they, they started medicating me for those symptoms. After they had done an MRI and a CAT scan, they realized that I had actually had a stroke and told my husband that I'd be lucky to walk again. And I knew that there was something really wrong because my family was ended up in the ER, uh, my brother and my sister-in-law. And so I knew it was something serious. And my husband told me, and I didn't believe him, quite frankly. I just, you know, at 47, um, a month before my 48th birthday, I'm laying in a hospital bed and they're telling me I'm having a stroke. I didn't know if that was the last day. So I wanted to make sure that because I have been given a second chance that I wanted to live my life with quality and with the people that are the most important to me. That was my story of survival that I shared in 2013. If not for the work that you do, I wouldn't be here today to share my story with you, not only as a survivor, but as an American Heart Association employee. Just like you, my passion for, for health brought me to my career. Your work impacts so many lives, the lives of your patients and the people who love them. Because of the work that you do, more people just like me will experience a positive outcome after facing a stroke. I can look forward to more days making memories with my family and the people who are most important to me. I'm proud to be a part of this award ceremony, to honor your achievements, and to say thank you for your heroic efforts on the front lines of stroke care. Thanks to your dedication to providing quality care, more people will have the opportunity to lead longer, healthier lives. All right. Well, thank you, Denise, for sharing your story and for all the work that you're doing to advance the mission of the AHA every single day. And thank you again to all the healthcare systems in the Eastern States region who are relentless in providing the highest quality care to ensure more positive outcomes and inspiring stories just like Denise's are happening every single day. In fact, we know every day there are amazing stories of passionate teamwork and examples of overcoming challenges and leveraging expertise and talents that you all bring to this work to touch people's lives. We've heard from many of you in stories like the staff of the American, I'm sorry, the Allegheny Health Network. Allegheny Health serves 29 Pennsylvania counties and portions of New York, Ohio, and West Virginia, and they currently have 10 campuses that utilize the Get With the Guidelines Stroke Program. By leveraging the Get With the Guidelines Stroke evidence-based guidelines and outcomes data, Allegheny Health has secured the Joint Commission Stroke Certification at seven campuses with additional work underway. So Allegheny Health Network has been an ongoing Get With the Guidelines award-winning hospital, and they presenting presented this year at the American Heart Association's International Stroke Conference, as well as implementing a robust telestroke program serving other hospitals and a new nurse navigator program. So this is some of the many great things that they are doing to impact stroke. And this year, beyond today's celebration, we want to lift up all of your stories, share it throughout National Stroke Month. To do this, we invite you to share your stories on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag AHA Stroke Impact and post pictures of your team, your award, and messages about how your team is impacting stroke care and patients' lives. Your photos and the stories will continue to live on on the website, heart.org, following the event and throughout the National Stroke Month in May. Additionally, we look forward to announcing the upcoming 2022 awards, which will occur in early summer as the 2021 data is finalized. And if you qualify for a 2022 award, you've earned it. So you should definitely go and flaunt it. This year's awards toolkits has a few new items that you're gonna be able to use to promote your hospital's awards. Uh, there's pull-up banners, uh, customizable videos, ads, and other materials that your hospitals can use to share your accomplishments. So congratulations again to the 538 Eastern States hospitals who achieved 2020 to 2021 Get With The Guidelines Stroke Awards for consistently applying 
evidence-based care, the best care you can for your patients. And thank you for your relentless commitment to those that you serve every day. Thank you also for joining us and I wish you all the best. Take care.